today I'll be talking about the Royal Winnipeg Ballet. The Royal Winnipeg Ballet is the oldest dance company in Canada and the longest continuously operating ballet company in North America. The RWB was established in 1939, which means it's been operating for 81 years. It still operates today. The Winnipeg Ballet Club was founded by two dancers. Their names are Gwyneth Lloyd and Betty Fairley. They put on the club's first ballet performances. The name was changed from the Winnipeg Ballet Club to just simply the Winnipeg Ballet. That was done in 1941. Years later, the company began touring in Canada in 1945, putting on performances from coast to coast. In 1948, the Canadian Ballet Festival was formed. You might be wondering how the Winnipeg Ballet was granted its royal title. Queen Elizabeth took the throne in 1952 after the passing of her ill father, the King. She then began her duties as Queen. Queen Elizabeth remains the Queen today, even in her old age. Taking the throne in 1952, she began her official reign in 1953. That year, she came here, visiting Winnipeg, and bestowed the royal title to the Winnipeg Ballet. It was a great honor. The RWB completed its first American tour in 1954, making a name for itself beyond Canada growing its reputation. Unfortunately, in June that year, 1954, the RWB's various buildings were devastated by fire. The cause of the fire was never determined, but the damage was devastating. The company's entire stock of beautiful costumes was gone. Their original music was gone. Their equipment was gone. Their sets destroyed. Despite the devastation, the company remained strong-willed, deciding to forge ahead, replacing all that was lost to move forward. They pivoted to focus strongly on developing Canadian talent. They also developed the RWB as an international touring company and actively engaged with choreographers and dancers from around the world to work together to expand the ballet. The company now spends 20 or more weeks a year on the road annually. They present 100 performances every year in both large and small centers. The company also mounts four productions a year in Winnipeg's performing arts venue. That's at the Centennial Concert Hall. Many years later, in January of 1988, the Royal Winnipeg Ballet School was established. Aspiring young dancers attend the school in their pursuit of becoming ballerinas. 
The school is comprised of two divisions, recreational, those who dance for fun, and professional, for students who are training in the hopes of dancing professionally. The Royal Ballet School is home to more than 1,500 students annually. Training begins for children as young as three, the cute little ones, and older for the purposes of learning how to dance ballet. You might want to train to become a ballerina in the future, either for fun or more professionally. I hope you learned something new today. Have a great day.